And today we'll be continuing ReZero, Starting Life in Another World, Season 2. Okay, so, epic, boys. Right off the bat, opening's fantastic. I want to see it again, because I've only seen it once, but from the first time, it was fantastic. Second of all, we got introduced to Echidna. Boys. I, I don't know, something about her, boys. Dude, she's so cool. I don't know. Okay, anyways. You guys have told me that... Okay, so Frederica is a beast human. And the person that I thought she could have been connected to was Ricardo. But he's a wolven. A wolfen. So, yeah, there's a difference. And yeah, I am I am very confused. Because I was under the impression that there was only one witch and all the others died. Uh, but that's Cap. I mean, she's obviously, you know, still going. And I don't know. Here's what I'm hoping uh, Subaru does. He needs... I don't know. Can he talk to her about return by death? Why not? I don't see why he couldn't, right? Just saying. All right. I'm going to start this in three, two, one. What? But that's not my title, so perhaps you'd know me better. <laughs> Okay. It hurts to see you look so alarmed by me. Despite who I am, I'm still a tender young maiden, you know. Sorry, but there's no way I'm not gonna be alarmed when you tell me the Little Witch of Greed the first moment we meet each other. Oh, real. Well, that is a fair point. <laughs> Ooh, wait, does that mean we get an opening? I guess not. Okay. Yeah, no opening. Physically moved anywhere at all. <gasps> you were merely invited to my tea party. My tea party? Okay. Witches. Tea party. Witches. Just going to stand there forever. Why don't you at least come over and sit down before the tea gets cold? Return by death. Explain. I mean, Whatever. see if she knows. He just drank that given poison. Yeah, for real. Yeah, for real. Okay. This anyway, because it's a little bland. It's actually something that's produced here. To put it bluntly, it's a body fluid of mine. What the hell did you just A body like fluid? <laughs> you're truly a fascinating individual. I might be interested. <laughs> you think you're so pretty, your beauty would make a normal person's eyes fall out? Oh uh, yeah. I'll have you know that my eyes are blessed all day long by the prettiest girl alive. So give it up, all right? No matter how many times I look at you, I'm not exactly going to think you're beautiful. She is beautiful. Most normal people tend to vomit when they stand before me. Pretty funny, isn't it? Yeah, that's freaking hilarious. <laughs> now, what is it you want with me anyway? She's perfect. You've come here completely of your own accord. If you want to go back, I can send you there. But are you sure that's what you want? No. Talk about return by death. This is an opportunity to talk to the Witch of Greed. It's not something that just anyone other than you can earn quite so easily. The only real requirement to have a dialogue is for both of us to exist. So we need all your words. Let Where are we? Desires, the curiosities, and the greed that you seek to satisfy. Windows XP's gone, boys. Now then, the music. What is it you'd like to ask me? Return by death. Do you want to know about Daphne, the Witch of Gluttony? The what? Beast that defied the will of God to save the world from starvation? What? Maybe you want to hear about Carmilla, the Witch of Lust, who granted emotions to non-humans in an attempt to fill the world with love. Or about Minerva, the Witch of Wrath, who struck people to heal them as she lamented the state of her war-torn life. What? Sekhmet, the Witch of Sloth, who drove a dragon past a great waterfall just for a chance to rest. Or Typhon, oh. the Witch of Lust, Slow down! Okay, I'm gonna have to go back. The witch of greed, whose thirst for knowledge led her to do things she regrets, even in death. But of course, bro, she she's knows perfect. Everything knows no bounds. <laughs> or there's the witch of envy, who killed all the other witches and used them as sustenance while making the whole world her enemy. She is the most detestable of them all. So, wait. Oh, what a shame. It looks like I frightened you too much. If she killed all the witches. Please. Oh, that's a 
time than I thought it would. People who are compatible really do adapt quickly. What are you talking about? The tea that you drank earlier. I used the Envy Witch Factor on it as a means to strengthen your resistance a little bit. Now what? I can talk freely and leisurely. So then, what would you like to ask me? The biggest question. You're not gonna get away with this. What did you do to my body? Please don't get the wrong idea. Bro. I didn't make you drink that tea with the intention of doing anything bad. Dude. I'm a bit embarrassed too. Huh? She's amazing. Sometime over these past few days, you killed the one who possessed the sloth witch factor, didn't you? At the moment of his death, the witch factor chose you as its new dweller. What? That's also why you entered this burial ground unharmed. This wild oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Where you're standing is the witch's graveyard, where my soul's being held prisoner. Her sanctuary. You're saying you know where the sanctuary is? I thought we were in sanctuary. To get a read on you yet, the sanctuary is just outside of the ruins. So, okay. Return by death. Yes, absolutely. I can guarantee that. But isn't there anything else you want to ask? Yes. Oh my God. Super. This is the biggest L he's ever done. Return by death. Oh my gosh. Super. Oh my gosh. She's perfect. Oh my gosh, Subaru. What I desire from you is to make a promise to me. You'll tell no one of what transpired at this tea party. That is my condition. Okay. If you on me, then I'll send you away with a souvenir. I've decided to grant you the right to face the trial of the sanctuary. I wonder what Bros. feelings do you have towards me and my efforts? The mere thought of you gives me such futile expectations. Oh my gosh, she's perfect. <laughs> She's so cool. Well, that was freaky. You really are a witch, huh? Without a doubt. And I just so happen to be a very, very evil magic user. Oh my gosh, guys. I can't, bro. She might be... <laughs> I don't know, dude. She might be my favorite. In my opinion, that was the fattest L Subaru has ever done. I feel like Return by death. Said something to me. What is wrong with that? You just walking out of there like that. You've got some nerve, outsider. Is this like a oh my gosh. Is it Frederica's brother? What? That's still gonna hurt. Oh, okay. I mean, it could have been worse. Who is this? Hey, that's a nice brown dress. hey, he's got the little thing too. Okay. So if, does everyone in this area have one of those? No, it's gonna die. Well, you're a real good looking girl now, ain't you, Frederick? Please, please, please. Come on, I'm not gonna hurt you. Just make I find that hard to believe. Oh, at least she's not dead, I don't think. Oh my god, we got too many foes this season, boys. Yeah, are you... Are you her brother? Just stop this for a minute. Thought about it and still don't know. I guess I'll need to bash your skull Quit in first. Quit jumping to conclusions and listen to me. It's because we all know her too, okay? The name's Garfield and the pleasure's all yours. Oh, this is Garfield. And you must have heard that name before. Oh, okay. How in the hell do you know that I have okay. anything to do with Frederica? I mean, you look kind of the same. Serious, right? So, is it... Is it her brother? 
Well, look at that. I guess you can put some energy into your voice after all. Want to know how it feels to be a Basel Mazo being flung back and forth? I gotta ask you something. Is there some sort of translation glitch going on? Yeah, what is he saying? Basel Mazel? I don't even know what he's saying. You're awake. Oh, man, what even crazy. happened? You of all people should know. Weren't you asleep because you got too close to the barrier? What do you mean there? Yeah, because... So this pendant was reacting to the barrier, is that it? Okay, but why did only Amelia pass out? I mean, I got Is it cuz you took it away? I was here. Why didn't the same thing? <laughs> Don't play dumb. You know damn well why the barrier reacted that way to her, not both of you. And it isn't only half elves that thing reacts to either. It works on me and a lot of others too. Figure it out yet? Is it because you have mixed blood like I do? Is that it? Make sure I've got this. So the sanctuary is a place where demi humans with mixed blood live? That's right. Oh, okay. Here, Miss Amelia, and your escorts too. So you're finally back? <gasps> took you long. Ooh. Let's go. Cool. I'm not sure which Bowersy you are, but I'm disappointed by how long it took you to get here. Although I suppose I was a fool to expect more of you. If your story is going to be you have no clue who I am, then at least stick to it. Whatever. <laughs> I would like to welcome you to the sanctuary, Miss Amelia. Master Rosball is waiting inside. Allow me to show you the way. We can actually see him. I want you to take the ground dragon and carry it somewhere suitable, all right? When I was unconscious, Amelia only stayed safe because of you. True that. Grateful. Oh, is that really true, Mr. Natsuki? Well, all right then. As long as you're appreciative, see you soon. He's so gay, boys. I could be wrong. I don't know. He seems kind of gay. We can get Roswell to help. No what happens, you can count on me to be your human shield and keep you safe. Human shield. <laughs> oh, Miss Amelia and your Subaru. Oh. Like it's been so very long. Since Whoa. I saw you both. I was gonna slug you when I saw you again, but now. What happened? What the hell happened? What could have hurt you like this? Well, it's a rather long story. Where shall I begin? Hey, before that, <laughs> Dude, I miss the way he talks. Roswell, Dude, he's so cool. What exactly is this place? Since we got here. No, since we made contact with the barrier. I've had this anxious feeling in my chest. I can't relax. Even though I've heard it called the sanctuary, it really doesn't seem like one to me. I'm kind of sussy. In fact, it feels more like... More like a witch's graveyard? Does it seem to make far more sense for you to call it that? What do you mean? Exactly what I said. Nothing more, nothing less. These are the very grounds where the Witch of Greed Echidna met her end a long, long time ago. Oh, this is... Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, who's that? Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. So then... Neighbor's family and the Witch of Greed. Are... It's Echidna. Huh? Please, when you speak of her, I do prefer you use her name. The Witch of Greed is rather unbecoming. It makes her sound so sinister. Not very nice, is it? Oh. Um, then, okay. The neighbor's family and Echidna have been acquainted for a long time. So Echidna's cool? Have always overseen this place? Indeed, although saying oversee is a bit of an exaggeration. The barrier here does most of the work. Thwarting entry from outsiders who don't follow procedure. In addition to that, dude, I love him so the much. Triggers certain effects on those whose blood meet specific conditions. I believe you experienced this yourself, Miss Amelia. Yup. That all the people who fled to the sanctuary, along with Master Roswell and myself, ended up remaining here instead of returning to the mansion. Uh, I've been wondering that for episodes. Because you're hurt, didn't you? It's because none of us can leave. We're all being held under house arrest here in the sanctuary. <laughs> Myself, Ron, the people of Arlem, everyone. And I'm sure that goes for the two of you as well. You're, you're so powerful. Wait, what? What the hell? Are you guys still flapping your gums in here? I don't get it. So Roswell's injuries are... Nope, not at all. Roswell here got hurt because he was rejected by the trial. Wait. <gasps> Super is supposed to do it, though? Enter this place, right? Oh my gosh. Back with the barrier. Mixed bloods who go through that and still come inside, you're stuck here forever like the rest of us. But don't you worry. 
Because we've got somebody who's getting ready to face a trial head on and set you free. Wait, you mean... Are you gonna do it? No, if I could do it, I'd be more than happy. Well, didn't Akinda say... Akinda say you're, you can or you're supposed to or you can do it? Something like that? You all know who this is. Amelia, the royal selection candidate. She'll be undergoing the trial. In the place of your domain, Lord Roswell Almader, I will take on this challenge. And I'd like your support. Let's go. Oh, she's shaking. One thing. That's that old lady. Why do this? If I remember correctly, you bowed your head to us the last time you saw us too. You spent a few days with your loved ones, but you aren't here now. Doing so made me realize that family should always be together. Oh, that was epic. I want to do everything I can to make sure you all return to yours. I didn't promise any of them that I'd do so. But I did promise myself. But if it's possible, I'd... Well, I'd like... To become your friend. If oh! Okay. She has such a way of words, boys. I pray you'll be our friend. Let's go! I'm not worthy, huh? Who says that in this day and age? Well, I think I'd like one last cheer. You really mean it? Yes, of course I do. If you don't mind. You can do it! Don't give up! E-N-C! Go, Amelia! The Major Challenger! Amazing. Thanks for that. Okay! Is that a portal or is it a door? Like... Okay. Oof. Okay, so it's a portal. Hey, is she gonna be okay? Her lights aren't supposed to go out as long as the trial's going on. Amelia, wait! Sorry, to... <laughs> huh? I don't understand, but if I can get inside, that's good enough for me. Oh my gosh, the season has no chill. Whoa, dude! The animation. Why? First, you need to face your own past. Oh my gosh. I know what that means. Oh my gosh, I knew it. I knew it. That's what. No, no, no. We're back. I knew it. We're back in reality, aren't we? Oh no. That's his dad? A look of respect. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I can't, boys. I can't. Oh my. This season, boys. What the heck was that on my paper? I don't know. I think it was a bug. I don't know. This season. No chill. I don't know how, but this season so far, at least, seems like it has more information per episode than last season. And last season for us, we watched the director's cut. So that's basically two episodes per. And these are only 25 to like 29 minutes long, not an hour. And this has so much information. Every single episode so far. The past three has had so much information. Super weird. Okay, so this, okay, this explains it. I was so confused because I, I was under the impression that all the witches were dead, but envy. And that is the case. So this is the witch's graveyard known as Sanctuary. Okay, apparently, okay, this is why a kid, okay, I'm a little confused. I was under the impression, I guess kind of, just because we know the Witch of Envy is like bad, I'm pretty sure. I mean, she seems terrible and evil. So I assumed all the others would be terrible too. But actually, honestly, they all seem to be good people. Like, we have Daphne, which is gluttony, created a beast that defied God, which sounds bad at first, to save the world from hunger. I'm a little con- I'm gonna reread- how- that doesn't even make any sense. Wait, is that what she said? Yeah, I, I don't understand how creating beasts that defied God 
help save the world from hunger or starvation. I'm not like, I, do the beasts make meat? I mean, I don't understand how that works. But anyways, that doesn't sound bad to begin with. So I don't know why she's the witch of gluttony. That just sounds terrible. And next we have Carmela, witch of lust. Granted motions to non-humans in attempt to fill the world with love. So, once again, that's not bad. Then we have Minerga, Witch of Wrath, who struck people to heal them as she lamented the state of her war-torn world. So, once again, not bad. Then we have Sekment, which is Sloth, who drove her dragon past the Great Waterfall for some rest. And because of that, she becomes the Witch of Sloth. I mean, <laughs> kind of whack. Then we have Typhon, Witch of Pride, who's basically just Kira. Bro, just Kira from Death Note. I mean, that's pretty much it. But the image that they show for Typhon, or Typhon, 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 is it Typhon or Typhon? Okay, it's Typhon with an N. She looks like a nine-year-old. I mean, she looks young. I don't know. None of them really seem bad, honestly. I mean, they don't seem bad at all. In Echidna is the Witch of Greed, who thirsts for knowledge... She has such a thirst for knowledge that it led her to doing things that she regrets even after death. Okay, boys. I, th it is the fattest L, in my opinion, Subaru has ever done. The fattest L. There has to be a, a reasoning for this, right? Ample opportunity for him to discuss with a kid, I think, right? I mean... The Witch of Envy explain what is going on. You know what I'm saying? She has she's has like all knowledge for the most part, it seems. She literally asked him, is there anything you want to know? <laughs> He's like, nah. <laughs> like, bro, what? Bad Estelle. There's gotta be a reason though, so if there isn't any reason and he just Bad Estelle ever, boys. Fat as hell. There is no reason. Unless, if there is a reason, then I'll take it back. Boys, for real though, I don't know, dude. Soup. Dude, Echidna is amazing. He should have just stayed and made ghost babies with her. I don't know, guys. I think I've seen maybe three minutes tops of screen time for her, and she might be my favorite. I don't know how. She's amazing, though. Okay, I'm, there was just so much info, boys. I'm probably just going to have to rewatch this entire episode at some point again. But, so, Kidna's soul is trapped here. And the graveyard of the witches is sanctuary. Uh, and the only way to get out is through the trial of cemetery. Or trial of graveyard. They use both of those. So, there's some sort of trial... Okay, so I'm a little confused and this keeps happening. Okay, first off, we know who Garfield is now. He, Garfield. I could be wrong. Unless all beast people look like that. I mean, doesn't Frederica have like the same colored eyes and hair? I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but I just assumed that was her brother. Because they look so similar. But it could be just that they're beast people. So... I'm a little confused. So I... So mixed blood... People who have mixed blood pass out? But is that fully true? Or is it mixed blood of those in this realm or whatever? Because Subaru, unless he's like full on Japanese 100% has no other strains... Isn't that still mixed blood? So it must be like of the blood in this. What do I even call it? Is this like a different dimension? What is this? Are we just, we're in another world. Obviously that's in the title. 
So in this world, it's referring to this blood. So Su Subaru is an alien, right? Isn't he like an alien? Anyways, this is just nonsense. Okay, we see Roswell. Boys, <laughs> dude, he's so cool. He's so cool. Okay, so he apparently tried... Okay, so w what I'm kind of... I don't know this trial. We don't know anything about it really yet. But I am under the impression that it has something to do with you. It's not like a an obstacle course or like an arena you fight in. I mean, I could be wrong. But so far, it seems like it's a trial of oneself, kind of. Like you battle your demons, like your personal problems or something. Because Amelia ran in. And this is another thing I'm a little confused about. I was under the impression that it was a Echidna, I thought, told Subaru something like, I feel like you can be the one to get us out of here, or something weird like that. I'm a little confused. Did Subaru know that ahead of time, but since he's not able to speak, discussion with Echidna? Because didn't Echidna tell him something like he's could be the one who could complete the, like, trial or whatever? And then, like, he obviously can't talk about it because she told him not to. So when they said Amelia's going to do it, he's just like, I, whatever. Or am I wrong? I could be probably wrong. A lot. They said so much, boys. Th 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 I don't know, dude. This is insane. Okay, anyways. And I still got so much. All right. So. Anyway, so, yeah, when Amelia ran up to start the trial, she immediately just... And that's the same thing. I thought it was going to be something like, that's kind of what happened to her earlier when she was in the, like, the wagon or whatever the heck they're called. The, the carriage. She just passed out and then she passed out again. So I thought it was connected to that. But so did Subaru. So is she currently fighting her past or demon or problems? Facing her own past? And that's why she collapsed? And the Subaru ran in after and then... I mean, he collapsed. Okay, and this is what was going on. Because when I want... I still have only seen the opening once for this season. I don't know why. This show is the only show that does this. The first episode of this season, no opening or ending. Second, had no opening in the beginning, but showed the opening in the ending. And then the third episode of the season has no opening or ending. <laughs> like, what? Anyways, I've only seen it once. But I remember seeing in it, seeing our humanal structures... That wasn't proper English, but like buildings from our world. And that's why it shows them in, it shows them in the opening. So he, I guess he's back in pa his present time. This is nuts. This is going to be so weird. The way Subaru mentioned it in the first episode and the way it seemed like it was before he got transported or whatever to this new world i thought he was like his, his life seemed kind of crappy but from like the three seconds that we've seen of him in the world that we are in right now it doesn't seem too bad right like his, he seems to be okay with his family because his dad like i mean tackled him <laughs> or like whatever but dude his dad is like jacked and it looks like him one thing i don't know boys if I were him, I wouldn't let Rem or Amelia see his dad. Because <laughs> it's just a jacked version of Subaru. You know what I mean? And they might like him. I, I mean, I don't know. But this is going to be very interesting. But at the same time, is there an actual trial? Because Roswell like was dumped looking. And it was because he like failed the trial right so is super if Subaru takes physical damage in the present I, what, I, I don't even know is he in the past right now I mean it says face your own past so I guess he is back in time I don't know so if he takes physical damage in the past is he gonna take that damage in current time and one thing that I was I don't I kind of might have mentioned the last episode, but in my head, I had it. I was under the impression that Echidna was going to be the main baddie for this season. 
I mean, she seemed to have been like the main focus of the opening. And she seemed kind of sus last episode. But then she like, she seems normal, kind of chill. Subaru should just make ghost babies with her. I hope we see Roswell do something though. I don't know. I feel like he's like Goku. Like, I think I said this last episode, but I feel like he's Goku of this show. Like, for the majority of the time, we can't have him actually do much because he's so OP. So we have to have an excuse for him to not be here. While, like, Subaru fights him or, like, you know, something instead. Because we haven't seen Roswell do much, but when he does do stuff, he seems OP. So I would like to see whatever the heck happened to Roswell and why he looks the way he looks. Because... Dude, I don't even know what happened. Dude, I don't know, though. It's kind of frustrating. <laughs> Akina literally told Subaru, you can ask me anything. And he's like, no. I want to go home. <laughs> like, bro. I don't... Didn't she even put some stuff in the tea or coffee or whatever? To... Yeah, it was tea. It was a tea party. To where, like nothing would affect him right then so he literally could talk to her about what is going on with like the witch why am i here in this world i mean she might not have that knowledge because that's like otherworldly i mean i guess she could i don't really know how much knowledge she knows but he didn't ask her anything that is ridiculous boys fat L. <laughs> i cannot believe you did that there has to be a reasoning for it, though. I mean, I guess that's it. So much. And why is Echidna trapped here? If this is the graveyard of the witches or whatnot, where are the others? Because she's a ghost, right? And trapped? Why aren't the... Oh, yeah, another thing. Subaru is now the witch factor. Because... Uh, I don't really know how or why it chose him. Because he wasn't the one... No, he did, technically. No, yeah, okay, no, it makes sense. He is the one. I forgot the scene. Subaru actually did kill... Petalcuse. Like, he actually killed him, so that makes sense. Okay. I'm not too sure what the heck a witch factor is, though. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, I'm in here. I hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching.